Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this first DIY, I'm going to use the Tumblr and Tower blocks. And I end up using three boxes of these. I'm just going to show you a picture of each layer of the pyramids so that if you wanted to make it, you can just pause it. I did film it and then I thought it would be better just showing you the pictures. And I, I really wanted to make a pyramid out of these blocks, so it took me a while to figure out how to make the squares and I eventually figured out that I had to put some of them pointing in the way so that I could make a perfect square in the right size for each layer. So for quickness, I just glued it together with hot glue, but if you wanted you could use something stronger like the super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree is really good. So again, I'm just using hot glue to glue the layers together. You just want to place each layer um, in the middle so that you have a equal um, gap around the outside, if that makes sense, so that it starts looking like steps. And here you can see the shape that it takes once you glue all the layers together and you could stop at the top piece and leave it flat on the top if you wanted or there are the other options are you could you could always cut down the blocks if you have something to cut them so here i'm just going to show you a couple of different options of how you could finish it off if you don't want to just leave the top layer flat you could use these little blocks from dollar tree or you could use this puzzle game. You can cut off the little pyramid shape and put that on the top, that would work. I'm gonna use something that I already have at home and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So off camera, I'm just gonna stain it with a Waverly Antique Wax. To finish off, I'm gonna use this little crystal that I have that I got when I went to the Coral Castle. And if you ever travel to Miami, you should definitely go visit it. I won't tell you too much about it, but the man who built it said that he knew the secrets of the people that built the pyramids. So I thought this would be a nice place to put it. And I just love this. I think it's my favourite DIY of the video. Because I had it in my head for a while, I wanted to make a uh, pyramid with these blocks and I finally did it and I'm really happy with it. So for this next DIY I'm just going to use these little wooden blocks from Dollar Tree and for the top half of this DIY you just need one packet but later on in the video you see that I added more blocks along the bottom but you don't have to do that and I used 79 altogether I think but you could definitely just do it with the blocks on the top so I'm just going to glue them together with hot glue in a, a row I'm going to make um, a right angle and then I'm going to turn it on its side and then make another row make sure they are all equal in length I'm just going to use some foam board to make a base for this and I'm just going to mark out the shape that I want and then I'm going to cut it out and then I'm just going to take some of these um, skewers from Dollar Tree and mark them and then I'm going to hot glue one to each side of the triangle. And here I'm just going to hot glue the top to the base and push it down and hold it in place until it sets and then off camera I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then I'm just going to put these two wee blocks on the middle of the base for some extra support. I'm just going to use some of the Dollar Tree Reindeer Moss and I'm going to put that all around the outside of the base and then I'm going to fill the middle with some rocks that I also got from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to put some succulents in it and I think this turned out really pretty let me know what you think in the comments below 
The amount of blocks you'll need for this DIY will depend on how big you want to make it. I just decided to make the base 6 blocks by 6 blocks and I already glued them all together so you can see the shape that is supposed to be. And then you just move the blocks in by one block each time you do a layer um, so that it builds up into a step pyramid shape. And that's it, it's really easy, it does take a little bit of time. And you can make this any size you like, you just have to start off with a bigger base. Off camera I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and I really love how it turned out. I think I might make it a bit bigger, I just made it this small so I could quickly show you for the video. So I'm just going to show you another way that you can use this DIY. Maybe that one was a bit too plain and simple for you, I have another idea. So on the bottom of it I'm just going to add another block to each corner and then one in the middle. And then I'm going to take some foam board and cut out a square that is 7 inches by 7 inches. Now my plan was to make this a lot bigger and fill it with succulents and make the, the pyramid bigger. But it was going to take too long and I didn't have enough blocks. I'm just going to paint the edges of the foam board with some black acrylic paint. Off camera I hot glued the blocks all around the outside of the foam board <laughs> and I just added an extra one to each corner and then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and I just cut off some of these beads from this necklace from Dollar Tree and I didn't like the shade of gold so I decided to paint them and at first I couldn't decide between black and gold but I went with the gold. I hot glued the pyramid to the base and then I hot glued a bead to each corner and then I'm just going to take the reindeer moss from Dollar Tree and put it all around the outside and then I'm going to put pieces of it going up the pyramid looking like it's overgrown and I love how this turned out. I do wish I'd made the big one with the succulents and stuff so I think I'll definitely do that in the future. But let me know what you think. For this DIY I used some bamboo skewers and I cut them into nine pieces that are six inches long and then I just joined them and joined them up and made them into three triangles. And I put some extra hot glue on each corner to make it more sturdy. I'm just going to use some of these skinnier bamboo skewers. I'm just going to line them up and make them flatten them out and tape them with some painter's tape to hold them still. And then I'm going to glue on the triangles. And then I just add some hot glue to the inside of the triangle to make sure all the skewers are secure. And then I just use some wire cutters to snip off the ends. And I actually got my boyfriend to do this because it was a bit hard. And then I just sanded all the edges down with a sanding block from Dollar Tree. And then I just used the pointy end of the skewers to attach the sides together and at the top of the triangle there was a wee gap so I just trimmed down some little bits of skewer to fill it in. And then I just used some craft sticks to make a bottom and I left a hole in the middle so that I could put a light fixture through it. And this is how it looks in the daytime. And this is what it looks like with the light on and I love it, I think it's so pretty. I'm going to use three of these triangle frames and some beacon adhesive spray that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it to attach this scrapbook paper that I got from Michaels. I also stained them with the Waverly Antique Wax. And I made some all-seeing eyes on my Cricut Joy but I got transfer tape from Dollar Tree and it wasn't good. 
I had so many problems getting them to stick so I'm not going to show you that part but I'll show you them once they are finished and I chose all C and I's because they are on the dollar bill on top of the pyramid so I thought that they would go nice these are nice just like this to put on a shelf or on your wall but I wanted to make them into a pyramid so I'm going to put them together like this and then I am going to secure them with a skewer <laughs> a skewer and hot glue on the inside and I just make sure all the edges are joined and it's seamless and then I just add some extra hot glue on the inside and I love how this turned out and I think this is my other favourite from the video okay for this DIY I'm making a step pyramid so I'm just going to glue the popsicle sticks one level is lying flat the next level is sticking up on its side and then the next level will be um, the same size as the popsicle sticks that are sticking up and they will be lying flat and you just keep uh, doing that to make it into a step with it getting smaller going up if that makes sense I just don't know how, how to explain it any better that's what it's supposed to look like I'm going to use some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I am just going to wrap it around the pyramid gluing as I go the rope was just a little bit too short so I decided to put um, a piece of that puzzle that I showed you earlier I cut cut it off and I stained it with the Waverly Wax and glued it on but I didn't like it so I took it off and then I just attached another piece of rope and put it around and then I put it through the middle and glued it on the other side I didn't show that on camera but you'll see it at the end and this DIY was actually my boyfriend asked me to make a pyramid out of the nautical rope so I thought oh, it could look nice but I don't think I like it <laughs> but um, you guys can let me know what you think this last DIY I glued together two sets of nine blocks and two sets of ten blocks and I'm just hot gluing well, hot glued it all but I'm hot gluing the shorter sides to the longer sides to make a square And then I make two sets of six blocks and two sets of five blocks and then I just glue the shorter sides to the longer sides to make a square and I actually was supposed to make this twice as high so I just make another one and then I just glue them on top of each other and then I glue four sets of three blocks together into a square shape and then I stain everything in the shade Early American by Minwax and then I just cut some foam board to make a base and I just glued it with some hot glue and then I just glued the medium square inside and then the other square inside of that And then I just fill it with some greenery and flowers that I already had at home um, but you can use whatever ones that you want, I'm just using what I already have and I think it turned out cute um, I think I might change, um, change it up, I might put some potpourri or something in it, see how that looks and thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs and I will see you soon